Hey guys, Tech3D here back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you custom wraps and a couple of tricks I learned in Simplify 3D over the last few days. So, basically, to use the custom wraps, you go into your edit process settings right here. And to bring it over for my other display. Okay, here it is. So basically, you want to go to the Additions tab. I'm on a Mac, but it's the same on a PC. And normally, this Raft Infill is set to 85 by default. So when you click to prepare the print, if we just bring the print down to the Raft, Here, as you can see, these lines are very, very close together. Meaning, you're going to have a very stiff raft, and it's pretty much going to be fused to the part itself. But then, if you go back into the edit process settings, you will find that if you change it to about 35, is where I usually like it. If you click compare to print again, then we're going to let render. Then bring it down. To the raft is. Here, basically, you, you have these zigzag lines that are much farther spread apart, which will make the raft bendable in this direction right here, as I'm moving my mouse, but not a direction like this direction. It's rigid this way, but bendable this way. basically and when you take the raft off if you pull it from this corner it would come off very easily and you have little cleanup work it would save you a bunch of time and so let's move on to the next trick basically as you can see you can see that this model here is way too tall for our flashforge creator pro printer but it is not too wide. So what you could do is double click on the model and then go to Z offset. And let's say I want it 20 millimeters shorter. Negative, uh, highlight negative, negative 20 millimeters. As you can see, it's gonna bring it down below the build plate and we're still above. So I'm gonna go negative 50. I wanna go down a bit more. So negative 65. Basically, anything below the build plate is gonna get canceled out and ignored by the G-code G in the printer. So basically all the stuff that that is above the build plate is exactly what's going to get printed. So when you click prepare to print, you see everything below the build plate got removed. And now again, there is a raft at the bottom. And, but something ridiculous here, of course I'm not going to print this model because it kind of takes it's probably going to take 30 hours to print. I'll have this model linked down in the description below. And so if you have Simplify 3D, you can play with it. Or if you have another slicing software, you can do these same tricks. Please make a video response to this and show me how to do it. That way I can make a video on how to do it. I'm Tech3D. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If that video was awesome, drop a like on it. And if it was even a, if it was just amazing, hit that big green subscribe button on screen now. Bye.